All right, it's um, Sunday, August 6th. Yes, today's the 6th. Today is the 6th of August. And it's been raining pretty much pretty much all day. And which is good cuz it's getting this corn filled out here. Um I guess I haven't really done a crop update all year or all summer long. Um which it's just it's just one of them things. A lot of other stuff going on and haven't had time. So um, I know I did make one video at one point. I was going to do the drone, which I probably still could do that, but I don't know. I'm not going to risk, risk it raining. But um, this corn is it's looking better. I mean, I mean it does look good. I just opened up an ear here, and uh, it's starting to dent. If you can tell, it's starting to get dents in it. So that's a good thing. It's uh, starting to mature. And probably looking at another month and a half, probably, because that'll put it maybe closer to two months, probably. Two months. Eh, we're looking at a good two months, probably, before anything harvest-wise would start. But um, we will say one thing. Um, I did mention in a previous video where I was talking about how we had a helicopter spray fungicide and insecticide on our corn ground and me and my, my my uncle uncles have said and i've even noticed it too since that fungicide and insecticide got put on the corn looks actually really good uh for this time of year um usually we have no way of doing that um but ever since that that got put on this corn looks better i mean it's 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 helped it so um hopefully yield wise that'll it'll make a difference too um i know i was talking to one guy or one farmer around the area and he's he figured it up and said if you can get 10 to 15 more bushels to an acre uh it'll it'll help pay it'll the spraying will pay for itself if you can get 10 to 15 more bushels to an acre so as, as long as you get the rain so um and we've got and we've got the rain so that's good and uh let it keep raining too but i we won't know until we get out here in the combine and start hauling out of here so but yeah uh this field will be fully shelled because not picking ear corn anymore so uh We'll be able to get a well, when we shell this field, we'll be able to get a good estimate on our uh, BPA bushels per acre since we're not ear ear picking it. But um, but other than that, I mean, corn's actually looking really good. Uh, it's just stand wise, it didn't get a very good stand this spring, but that was in part of the weather. But whatever, uh, win some, you lose some. But as long as there's a good good healthy ear on there like so um i i think that's a good healthy ear right there um probably a little more could have used a little more nitrogen up here used a little bit more nitrogen apparently that's the one thing i've learned when your ears get looking like this that's um nitrogen deficiency um is what i've heard so anyway but other than that uh we're looking pretty decent here. Um, I'm ready to start filling that new grain bin full of corn. <laughs> and it's going to be filled full of corn, too. Put corn there. 14,000 bushel of it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, I don't know when this video will go up, but Cecilia Days is this next weekend, or this upcoming weekend. So Saturday, and um, I was going to put a poll up on YouTube, but I don't think I'm going to get around to that, unless I try to do that here today, of uh, putting a poll up to see which tractor should be pulled. Uh, but I'm think I've got, I kind of got the tractor in mind I want to use, but we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Catch y'all in the next one.